Welcome to episode 24 of my Age of Wonders 3 Necromancer series, where I give my five Allied Emperor opponents a 40 turn head start. Last episode, we just had a pretty baller uh, battle where I picked up the level 7 Goblin Rogue and uh, Node Serpent, which I really like for the stun ability. Inflict stun and elite. It was good I didn't fight them when they were at elite. But I've got low movement left on these guys and they're at zero. And there is a lot. There is a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. Some fire damage. Some people who are very tanky against what I have to offer. Lots of fire damage. This is going to be pretty brutal, and hopefully they can't co-coordinate with each other too much. Because it could be hard to repel them. But I can't uh, defend both of these stacks. <sighs> and I love the idea of a Necromancer. So I don't know, maybe I'll place them here in the middle, and regardless of what they pick, I'll just make sure. Well, yeah, they're on zero movement. There. Tough. Tough, tough, tough. At any rate, let's level some peeps up. Um, got Shadow Step. I do need this at some point, so that is clearly a good thing to get. And actually, as it happens, I would have enough movement to take them out, but it would leave some of my guys behind. I'm curious. What if I just did, because who else can, they can't even make it, but they could. So I wonder if I just take these two guys. That would probably be enough. Are these pike? They are a polearm, so they would do some hefty damage. So I would want to bring this, I think. It's leaving them somewhat exposed. But do I want to... What's the deal with going a turn early? Is that worth doing? <sighs> Maybe it would let me head back this way if there's nobody else around. So. Well... Okay, so there are some additional guys there. They will not be able to reach them, incidentally. But I do think I will do this. Hmm. Stick back, probably. <laughs> cool down two turns. That's interesting. I think I'll probably say that neither in range. That's cool. Manticore's first strike? Really? Char. 
charge on out. Coward. So it's just going to keep redoing. Yeah. I don't think I like those odds. Yeah. Wow. I'm really curious to see this, especially if it's a uh, I thought there was a third body, is there not? Maybe there was not. There we go. Hmm. Or upkeep. Do I send them along the river to explore? Maybe. Maybe I do. Let's see what these guys do. I think I will come back. And back to you. What have we not given you? This is level 14. I'm just not sure about that. The resistance, I think, is worth it. The defense is probably worth it. And either hit points or Not sure. I might hold on to the rest. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I have to figure this out. Where folks can go. 
They could initiate, but they will not want to. These guys have a little bit of movement. These guys do as well. So they do some fire damage, so it is good to have them parked in that stack. As far as spreading out the heal, though, these guys have the potential to do a lot of healing. I just have to think about where are they likely to attack. If they attack here, we'll pull in these two. So do I back them up and potentially lose these guys? Or do I bring these three forward, but then this guy will be out in the cold? I don't like the idea of just fighting with these. I mean, it's just some scary armies to be spread out on. So I do have to think about combining. I could, I could disband. And these all could move up. So do I do that? Because if I do that, then it might pull. So I'm just, I don't know. I, I would want, that's, that's a hard, hard, hard call. So do I move back? and risk these two stacks being pulled in. They all can move back, interestingly enough. It's just really hard to know what the opponents will do. They can also come up. So it's like, do I want Triple heal, plus him, plus these guys, possibly in a battle by themselves. And then if they engage these two stacks, it'd be okay. Or do I maybe, because there are some people that can get, a bunch of them can get, okay. So I could get many of them down. I may in fact want to consider that. What kind of, Uh, oh, and that's interesting too. What, uh, wait a second. Plus one, plus one. That's nice. I might want to get them off of him. Plus one, plus one. What has he got? He's already got a plus one. So do I want to send a plus one helm to one of my other guys? I might want to. I really might want to. Just in case. visible on the strategic map. I wonder if that would actually be true. Weapon finesse. I'm piecing, I wonder how many of those points. I'll just have to remember to level up. What about this guy? Plus two. Who, who does need play protection? Because there is somebody, hmm. <laughs> that's interesting. So that is fine. Like, is this the, 
So it's the other guy who is using the blight boots who could use additional blight protection. Wait. No? Oh, okay. I've got to go one more. Higher weakness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he could use the blight protection. He does have a spot for it, so I will send those blight protection boots and that ring to him. That will work nicely. As far as boots, I think most everybody is pretty good. It could keep down prices if I maybe put it over there. And I think I probably do want to do that. Generation will help anybody, so I might as well sell that. Plus two shield, it's tempting. I can get some additional units down here to defend. So, do I maybe consider having my two most, because they're likely, I don't know. So do I have my two most powerful stacks down here? I'm just not sure. Hmm. So if I do try and make these as powerful as possible, because I could go back here, but I do, I think I want to have this as powerful as possible so they can be wherever they most need to be. Which of these there are? Yeah, so, I think I want to do that. Probably this. Yeah. As much much heal as possible. Maybe here. They're full up. Who do we mind? That's what this is. I think that's probably pretty reasonable. So do I put, because this stack is going to be fine, whereas this stack may not. So I think we want to do that if these two guys get attacked. I may want to take this, but I have a compelling reason to do so. But I want to be able to like rearrange guys here, for example. Like they could get here and then probably back there. They could get there as well. They will not. But that's at least two of them. Because if I put a bunch of guys here, but then that leaves them out in the cold, which I don't want to do. Maybe here. And then maybe I'm just taking this so they can't. Yes. Right. Oh, yeah. You gotta think about these guys back here. This probably goes here. And as far as this, it could go here. Because we're hoping they're stupid and they attack up if they attack this way. They can't quite reach here, but they could reach here. 
So these three will always be pulled in. Any of them that are attacked, right? And we could pull in these two. So we might, we might try that. Hmm. That's interesting. I do this. So I do like the idea of some ranged damage there. Okay. Interesting. All right. These guys have been out of juice. I think they're going to go here. I guess. I'm not really sure for that. Strong metal coming on one Hmm. I don't think it was picking up. I think they were just going to hang out. So I think that is it, finally. I don't think I need to summon anything with just two points. I'm going to get this next turn. I'm trying not to spend any money, but do I want to build like a reanimator at home? I don't think it's going to make much of a difference. So maybe not. I don't think there's anything else I want to be building. Unless it's some observatory or something. No, I think I'm going to or burial ground to be able to produce the bone collectors, but no, I, don't, I don't know. So I think we're good. I needed to upgrade somebody, right? Plenty of melee. So either armor piercing or weapon finesse. I think probably weapons finesse. Bad. Okay, so it's turning over from turn 59 to turn 60, and so I will end the episode here and we will look forward to the next episode this is episode what 24 so i'll see you in episode 25